Good evening, good evening. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Pro Wrestling Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. My name is Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. So, we got quite a lot of pro wrestling coming up this weekend, but for this video in particular, I want to preview the next big upcoming DDT show, Who's Gonna Top 2023? Yeah, that's literally the name of the show, Who's Gonna Top. It's weird. But I'm going to be giving a preview of the Corquin Hall DDT Who's Gonna Top show. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into this. So just a heads up, the show will be this Sunday, September 24th. We'll be at Corquin Hall in Tokyo, Japan. We got eight matches. We got eight total matches. One of them is a dark match, which I do hope that they will show on Wrestle Universe. Here's hoping that they'll show on Wrestle Universe. But we have eight total matches uh, with two of them being title matches. We got two title matches on this card. But I have to, you know, I have, I have to say I haven't seen a whole lot of DDT. Of course, the last show that I watched was um, Wrestle Peter Pan. But after seeing uh, the card and the match, like the title matches on this card, I had to reserve this one on my list to definitely check out. And you'll you'll know why. You'll see why. But anyway, let's get started with this preview. All right, so first up, we have a dark match in the form of a tag team match, uh, starting from the lower right corner. So we got ourselves a dark match tag team match. We have the team of Yuya Kuroku and Yusuke Okada taking on the team of Kazuma Sumi and Rukia. So I don't know any of these four guys. So I am just going to pick the team of Yuya Kuroku and Yusuke Okada to pick up the victory. That's really all I got cuz I don't I don't know these four. So that's that's all I got. All right, let's keep it going. Next up, we have a three-way tag team match. I have a three-way tag team match. The teams, we have uh oh god. We have Yuki Sexy Ino and Dun Shoku Dandy Dino of the Pheromones teaming up to take on the team of Kazuki Hirata and Naruki Doi and the team of Akito and Antonio Honda. Uh, of course, if y'all know me well, y'all already know who I'm going to go with in this match, but I am going to be picking Kazuki Hirata and Naruki Doi to pick up the victory. Um, hopefully it's not the pheromones. Really hope it's not the pheromones. But, yeah. Uh, should be an interesting match. Should be a very interesting match. But gotta go with Naruki Doi and Kazuki Hirata. Of course, you know, big Naruki Doi fan ever since I really got into Dragon Gate a long time ago. So, it's kind of an easy pick for me. All right, let's keep it going with our next match. All right, starting from the right side in the middle there, we got ourselves an eight-man tag team match. Um, and this match is pretty loaded. It's very loaded. So team number one, we have uh, Yukio Naya, Kazusada Higuchi, Jun Akiyama and Tetsuya Endo 
taking on the team of Hiroshima, Yukio Sakaguchi, Yuji Hino, and Makoto Oishi. Ooh, man. This this is a tough one. This, yeah, this, this is a tough one. This is a really, really tough one. Um... Mm. I'm gonna have to go with uh, the team of Yuki Onaya, Kazusada Higuchi, Junakiyama, and Tetsuya Endo. But I could see this going either way, especially uh, Yuji Hino, I definitely am familiar with. Um. But yeah, I, it could still go either way, but I, I got to go with team number one, Jun Akiyama's team, to pick up the victory. All right, let's move on to the next. All right, left side, six-man tag team match. We have the team of MJ Paul, Kanon, and Daisuke Sasaki taking on the trio of Yuni, Takeshi Masada, and Hideki Okatani. This one's also kind of difficult to pick. I was kind of fumbling at this one, but but I'm gonna go with the team of MJ Paul, Kanon, and Daisuke Sazaki to pick up the victory. But I think it could go either way. I definitely think it could go either way. Um, but should be a good match. Should be a good trios match. All right, before we go and continue the rest of this card preview, here's a quick word on the sponsor of this video, Game Beauty. As you continue to enjoy content here at Blitzball Champ Gaming, be sure you take a moment to check out Game Beauty. Beauty inspired by gaming. Game Beauty brings to you video game related makeup and cosmetic products. You have products such as eyeshadow palettes, elemental pearl highlighters, eyeshadow brushes, liquid eyeliner pens by Akidiris, and even non-makeup products like graphic tees. They even have special collaboration makeup kits, such as this Persona 5 Heat Wave Brush Single, Metaverse Bundle, and even a Phantom Thieves Limited Edition Makeup Collection. Also remember that Game Beauty provides international shipping of $60 or more. And if you use the promo code BLITZBALLCHAMP, all in caps, you can get 10% off of your order. So be sure to use that to your advantage. Now, back to your regularly scheduled video. Enjoy, and thank you. Alrighty, let's continue on with the rest of this card. All right, next match, uh, starting from the right side, we got ourselves a special tag team match. We got Team DDT versus Team All Japan Pro Wrestling. So, Team DDT, made up of Toy, Kojima, and Yuki Ueno, taking on the team of All Japan Pro Wrestling's Atsuki Aoyagi and Dan Tamura. Now, 
I'm a little bit more familiar with uh, Team DDT in this one, although I have seen Atsuki Aoyagi before. Um, Dan Tamora, not really familiar with. So, um, I'm going to go with Team DDT to pick up the victory. Yeah, I'm just a little more confident in that team. But, hey, I'll get a chance to see this Dan Tamura in action. Never seen him before, so hey, looking forward to it. You know what I mean? All right, let's continue. All right, on the left side there, we have a special singles match, and this should be really, really good. We have Konosuke Takeshita versus Mao. This should be a very exciting match. Perhaps could end up being match of the card. We'll see. But I think this will be a very exciting match. I I know I really enjoyed uh, watching Mao, especially uh, a while back at the um, All-Star uh, Junior Festival. That was really, really good show for the U.S. Um, but for this match, I'm going to have to go with Konosuke Takeshita to pick up the victory. You know, he's been killing it, DDT, AEW, and I think that continues. So I'm going to have to go with Takeshita to pick up the victory. But it should be a really good match. Should be really good. Okay. Now, let's get into our championship matches. All right, starting from the top right, we have the DDT Universal Championship on the line. As the champion, Matt Cardona will defend against Maki Ito. Woo-wee. Oh, man. I have a feeling this will be a very entertaining match, and it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what kind of tricks and stuff Maki Ito may have up her sleeve. But, of course, Matt Cardona will have Steph DeLander in his corner. So, I expect interference of some sort. Uh, Definitely will be rooting for Maki Ito, but I don't see her pulling it off. So, therefore, I'm going to say Matt Cardona uh, wins and retains the DD2 Universal Championship. But I think it'll be a very entertaining match, for sure. But we'll see what happens. And then the main event of DDT's Who's Gonna Top? Upper left corner, we have the KOD Openweight Championship, the top prize in DDT on the line. As the champion who won this title back at Russell Peter Pan, Chris Brooks will defend against Saki Akai. Saki Akai, who is currently doing her retirement tour. Because remember, near the end of the year, she will be retiring from professional wrestling. <sighs> Now, it would be quite a story. It would be quite a story with a big photo finish if Saki Akai was able to pull off the unthinkable and defeat Chris Brooks to become the KOD Openweight Champion, champion which I don't think is a title she's ever won. I could be wrong. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't think she's ever won this title before. But, to be honest with you, I hate to say it, but I don't think she's going to pull it off. I really don't. So, therefore, I, I'm picking Chris Brooks to retain the KOD Openweight Championship. I hope this will be an excellent match, main event worthy. And I'm sure Saki Akai is going to go all out, but I don't see her winning. I really don't. I hate to say it, 
but it hadn't been that long ago that Chris Brooks won this title, and I think he needs a good run, you know, even at the expense of of uh, Saki Akai losing. But I think it'll be a great match. But yeah, overall, I like the card. Therefore, I'm interested in checking this out. But yeah, it'll be this Sunday, September 24th. Um, looking forward to it. We'll be on Russell Universe. I have Russell Universe, so I'll get a chance to check that out. But that will do it for this preview. Um, don't forget to check out the link to Game Beauty. And also, let me know what y'all think of the card. What do y'all think of the matches? What are your predictions? Do you think both Maki Ito and Saki Akai can win their respective title matches and become new champs? Let me know what your thoughts are. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell while you're at it. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. For another Pro Wrestling Talk brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U2 The Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ, Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed day tomorrow, and I will see y'all in the next video. Take care. Laters.